Sometimes when you're looking for a look that you want to do and you're running out of ideas, I always look to the past. Today I thought I would try a look that is inspired by Grace Kelly. So, so I looked up a bunch of pictures of Grace Kelly, found a few of them that I'm going to be using as my inspiration today. Now admittedly, in most of these photos, she's in her 20s, which is a good 30 years younger than I am right now, so I realize that I won't be able to get an exact, <laughs> but I'm just using it for inspiration. Obviously, Grace Kelly's features are, are different from mine, and uh, but it's a nice starting place, so shall we play? I'm super excited that I just got in my juice shipment. I was having a problem with a vitamin C deficiency. So I found a juice source and they agreed to sponsor me for a few videos. So they sent me some juice and I get to tell you about it. I'm super excited about that. This one is Greening is Believing. It has spinach, kale, cucumber, apple, pineapple, and lemon. And what I love about the Fountain of Juice, these are shipped to you frozen. So all you have to do is defrost them. And I live in Los Angeles. There's a juice bar in every corner. There is a juice bar very close to me that does cold, breast, cold pressed juices and they cost about $8.95 each. And it's a half mile walk there and a half mile walk back. And this was delivered to my door. So let's try our Greening is Believing. You definitely taste the kale. It's nice. The, um, the apple softens it. The pineapple sweetens it. It's not a real sweet juice. It's sort of half sweet and half savory. It's very refreshing. Next time, I think I'm not going to defrost it quite as much. I think I'm going to let it be even just a teensy bit slushy. I think that would be nice, but cheers to your health. Let's create our makeup look. Mmm. Oh, well, that's nice. Grace Kelly was the absolute golden girl. So if I wanted to do an impersonation of Grace Kelly, Obviously, I do some of the rinses on the hair. I'm going to do a silver Grace Kelly. The main thing we notice with a Grace Kelly look, it's very clean and simple glamour. It's not flashy. Um, there is, the hair is slicked back and she has a, a flip. Her hair's longer than mine. I could have put a hair piece in, but didn't really feel like doing that. Let's let's work on the eyebrows because I think the I think the eyebrows are really really important to the Grace Kelly look, and her eyebrows are different from mine. Mine are very high and arched. Hers are lower and flatter, and very crisp and clean. So we're gonna try to get that Grace Kelly eyebrow. This is my. NYX Micro Brow in Taupe. And I have found this to be my favorite eyebrow pencil for a very softly defined look. It's not big, it's not dramatic, it's very soft and gentle and understated. And yes, I'm getting my mirror up closer and I'm flipping to the big side. So I'm going to fill in a little more right under here than I usually do. Definitely have more of an arch going on than she does. Years ago, I worked on the movie LA Confidential and I played Remember how they had the prostitutes that look like movie stars? Well, I played the prostitute that looked like Grace Kelly. And I remember in the, uh, when we were working on it, 
the they had they just did these absolutely transforming looks on some of these these women and it was just incredible to watch um, and they, they spent like two hours on makeup on everyone. They spent like 20 minutes on makeup and me. They basically just slammed a little makeup on, did the eyebrows, some false eyelashes, red lips, and said, okay, you're done. I'm like, everyone else got two hours in the makeup chair. I was done in 20 minutes. And they're like, yeah, you're fine. You're done. <sighs> Kevin Spacey came up to me and said, you must be Grace Kelly. And I said, <laughs> because it was Kevin Spacey. And, oh my God, he's so amazing. Oh, I taste more of the cucumber now. Hmm. Interesting. I got some wild hairs in this eyebrow. I may actually have to pluck them. I swear I haven't plucked my eyebrows in a gazillion years and if I knew then what I know now, I never would have plucked them. I had some beautiful eyebrows once upon a time. And gosh, I remember doing a movie in the 90s and I wanted to have this sort of rocker chick look. And I'm like, let's pluck the eyebrows really high and thin. They never really came back after that. That was 1994. Ooh, come Halloween. I am going to tell you a great story about when I worked on that particular movie. Uh, I'm going to wait till we get a little closer to Halloween because it's definitely one of those scary type of ghost stories, but I think you'll enjoy it. I'm such a tease. Okay, that's making me crazy. That eyebrow always goes up higher. Sometimes you get in too close and you really lose perspective. So that's why I'm flipping the mirror back and forth because I need to get in close and then pull back and get in close and pull back. Mm -hmm. I think that's as good as we're gonna get without cosmetic work. You know, cosmetic surgery work. Ain't, that ain't gonna happen. Next, just so I stop looking dead, I'm gonna throw on some lipstick. This is gonna be challenging for me because Grace Kelly was not known for big voluptuous lips. And well, you know, ever since they started putting collagen in lips back in the 90s, big full lips have been in vogue and and now kylie jenner does her whole lip kit thing and you know everyone's got these big exaggerated lips so i'm going to try to do lips kept to a natural lip line and not exaggerate it at all this is going to be tough I'm going to line with a red pencil this is nyx red hot i'm going to go sharpen my lip pencil because obviously i did not think to do that before walking into my living room to start shooting this video. I'll be right back. Remember all those wonderful clothes that Grace Kelly wore in rear window? Oh, hard to decide. What, what's your favorite Grace Kelly movie? High Society was fun. You don't really think of her as singing and dancing. Okay, keeping it not going outside the lip line, keeping it thin. Keep bumping into my mirror with the pencil. I guess I'm getting a little close.
I will add more lipstick and gloss to that later, but at least now I can look in the mirror and not go, oh my God, I look like a dead woman. Years ago, I had to get my own makeup for a shoot. Uh, we were shooting some small town in Massachusetts and I had to do my own makeup for this show because sometimes you have to. Ooh, pardon me. Mm, little green juice there. Um, and I needed to get a really good, heavy foundation because my skin is, well, you know, I've told you, skin is terrible. Um, and I went to Friends, which is a great cosmetic house that does movie makeup. And we spent a long time trying to find the right foundation. Now I wasn't as athletic and out in the sun all the time then, so my skin was very, very pale. And we were looking at this color and that color and this color and that color. and we could not find the right color. They were all just too dark. And finally, she pulls out one and she puts it on me and she's like, well, this one's too light. And I'm like, good. I went, oh, okay, well, that's, that's a starting point. She was like, yeah, that's good because that one's dead flesh. So the one we went with was called Alabaster, but it's good to know that dead flesh was a little paler than I am. Uh, let's get a little blush on. Speaking of pale, not a vibrant blush. I don't want, we're not doing contour. We're not doing, this is simple, 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 elegant, understated glamour. This is a matte color that I very rarely use because it's not vibrant enough for my tastes, being a little over the top. This is MAC. It's either Prism or Strata. Strata. This is MAC Strata. Dollar Tree glasses. God, my eyes are so red lately. I don't know what's going on with them. Hopefully the juicing will help. Getting all those greens in will make a big difference. It's, you know, sometimes we, we get out of habits and we, forget to take care of our health and it shows when we don't take care of our health it really really shows in our skin in our eyes in our hair that's plenty it may even be too much looking at the eye very little, nothing with shimmer, nothing that shows with shimmer at any rate. Keeping it matte, matte and soft. I'm gonna go with my Naked 3 palette and I am going to select this one right here, Limit, which is just, just only slightly deeper than skin tone. A little bit elongated at the corners. I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm going to stay with this palette and I'm just going to go up to the Nooner which is you know just another one of those barely there colors. for my liner. Don't want to do a liquid liner. That's going to be too harsh. This is a MAC cream liner. Can't see what color it is. It's midnight purple. I don't know that I really want a purple. Grace Kelly does not say purple to me. This is a trio from Smashbox. Have no idea what it's called, but I'm gonna go with this sort of dark, it's like a dark burgundy brown. 
Well, that's ridiculously subtle. We're not going to do that. That's like so subtle we can't even see it. And I mean, come on. Okay, take two. I'm going to go with my Clinique in roast coffee. So much easier for me to do this eye than this eye. I don't want any more than that. No cat eye. Keep it clean. Lip line's a little wobbly. Oh, I have the meet and greet hike on the 17th at Fryman Canyon at noon, if you are in the Los Angeles area, we're gonna be meeting in the parking lot and going for a hike. I'm gonna to try to videotape some of it. Would love the idea of going live and doing the whole thing, but honestly, I know my phone, it's gonna die. It won't last that long, so bits and pieces are the best I can do. Uh, but what I would like for everyone to do, if it's at all possible, Join me. I don't care if you're in Los Angeles. At noon Pacific time, go for a walk. Go outside, go for a walk. Enjoy your day. Get out there and walk with all of us in spirit. And uh, I just think it's, it's great to get out there and be moving. Kathy wrote to me and suggested that she was doing that. And I went, oh, that is so brilliant. Thank you. I love that. Yes. Let's everybody get out there and go for a walk. And then I will put the video up and it'll be like we were all together. So Saturday the 17th, we're going to go for a hike. I have sort of a meet and greet coming up in October. I'm doing an autograph signing in um, Phoenix, Arizona. The FearCon, it is a horror movie convention. I guess technically it's in Tempe, Arizona. So I will be there October 7, 8, and 9. Uh, October 7, 8, and 9, signing autographs. So um, if you're in Phoenix, come on by and say hi. Um, I'm sure there'll be some, you know, festivities. I don't really know what all the details are yet, but uh, I know that I'll be there. I've got my flight booked, and uh, if you've ever been to never been to a horror convention, it's like nothing you've ever seen. I don't. I've never been to one in Phoenix. I don't know how it is in Phoenix, but I've been to some horror conventions that are. They're an eye opener. They're they're interesting. So um, certainly, I will be sharing something with you of that event. I don't know what it will be. Probably several things, but uh, that's going to be an interesting weekend. October 7, 8, and 9 in Tempe, Arizona. It's FearCon, and I will drop information for that down below, as well as this weekend's hike. This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara, which is really a little bold, I think. I'm not sure I want anything this bold. This might be a bit much. So I'm very delicate with it. Sorry, every time I look down, I'm looking at the pictures of Grace Kelly. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to do false eyelashes. I'm certain that she is wearing false eyelashes in these old photos, but I'm not sure if, if it's gonna be too much. So let's just take a look. There we go, let's just mock that up and see what we think. Yeah, I keep all my old false eyelashes from movies and art or, you know, I collect them. I, I don't use all of them. So these are some of my favorite false eyelashes. False eyelashes can tend to be too much. I just tried on a black false eyelash 
I also have one individual, one brown strip of false eyelashes. So I'm going to take that brown strip. The brown false eyelashes are a lot more subtle than black false eyelashes. So if you've wanted to play with false eyelashes and you feel like, no, oh, they're just too much, this is going to be a very subtle version. What I do with a lot of my false eyelashes is I cut them, cut them in half. These are just cheapy false eyelashes that I got at the drugstore. They're not expensive. These are not $25 lashes. These are human hair. Inexpensive dime store false eyelashes. They are, in fact, I can see, elegant tutu. Yeah, that means nothing to me. Sorry. Uh, let's cut these in half. When you cut them in half, you will notice, wow, is this even going to be possible? Let me give this a try. You will notice that one side is a little wider and one side is a little narrower. You want, let's see, no idea if any of that shows. You want the wider side to be at the outside of, so this is going to be my left and this one is going to be my right. I have these, this latex adhesive. Yikes, don't slide around. This is what happens when you use your lap for everything. Stuff starts moving around. Obviously, if it's so difficult for me to see, it doesn't matter that much, does it? When I did the video for Mature Lashes, I got the lash glue in the uh, bottle, and I really like having the adhesive on a brush. That's really nice. Don't slam those lashes right onto your eyes. Give that glue a few seconds to set up and get a little tacky. Otherwise, it slides. That's true of pretty much every single adhesive. Yeah, see? Sticking all over the place. Don't do that. Also push them up. So you've got that little bit of time while the glue is still wet that you can Move them around just a little bit. See if we can separate that lash right there. There, that's nice. That's very subtle. Now the hard part, doing the second one. And now, easier to put eyeliner on this eye, but tougher to put false eyelashes on this eye. I want highlighter. I just do. I'm gonna use my bare lights. You know, I never put uh, highlighter on the tip of my nose until a few months ago, and now I I can't not. I just love it. We all have our little things that we like. Oh, how's that lash doing? It's doing okay. We all have our little things that we like. I may not like contouring, but I like that little tiny dot on my nose. I think that highlighter might be a bit much on my cheeks. I'm gonna grab my Naked 3 palette, or my, my Naked Flushed palette. My Joe Blasco Orange Highlight One, also known as Sleep. And by the way, this is a camera only step. I would not do this for 
regular everyday life unless you really, really, really needed it. It's pretty heavy. So this is a step that I'm doing for camera because it looks good on camera and I am making a video and you are seeing it. Uh, if I were going out, certainly in the daytime, I would not do this, perhaps at night. I have a great Chanel red that is super vibrant. And I look at these photographs of Grace Kelly and I know she's wearing red lipstick, but it just feels, I want a soft red. I don't want that, don't want it quite too solid. So this is Candy Apple Revlon Color Burst. And it's nice because it's a little bit sheer. I want a touch more. I'm gonna use a little powder on the eyebrows, but boy, I don't want them to be dark. I really wanna keep them light in tone. And this is that little palette that I have. It has all the colors that you know, they're really inexpensive, but they're all very matte. Most of them are matte. Um, and not the best quality, but I want really soft. I'm gonna take this taupey brown, and I know I'm usually in the silver palette, but I'm just afraid that any of these grays, these grays are too dark. These I've played with, they're too blue. So I'm gonna go with this very light, taupe just to fill that brow in a little more and give it a little definition especially on the tail yeah glad we didn't go any darker than that trying to keep that low and not go into the arch when I was first getting started with my acting career, I had a really big audition that I was just getting started and, and it was too much for me. I, I couldn't, couldn't handle the pressure. I did, gave a terrible, terrible reading. But uh, Frank Sinatra selected my photograph to read for the role of Ava Gardner. So if I ever do an Ava Gardner makeup, well then, I can go to town on the eyebrows, but so that was, I sucked at the audition, but hey, it's pretty cool that Frank Sinatra thought I looked like the greatest love of his life. Not at all now with silver hair. <laughs> oh, that, that's nice. That lowered that brow a little bit. Still want to don't want it to be darker, but I do want it to be just a teensy bit lower. Four or five servings of vegetables right there. Fountain of Juice. They brought you today's video. So they rock. And to complete our Grace Kelly look for today, I should have definitely pressed this before this video, but I didn't think about it. I grabbed it like three seconds ago. And I am ready for Cary Grant to take me out and about in Monte Carlo. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. What's your favorite Grace Kelly movie?